the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds of the air, and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with the flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of the man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. I challenged myself to wholeheartedly believe this word and trusting God to provide a spouse if it was His will. Little did I know that she, that the woman with the most radiant smile on the face of this earth, whom I first met in January 2013, was His perfect creation for me. could I have ever imagined that you would be so beautiful, so in love with God, and thankfully in love with me. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful treasure that I have obtained today. Greater than the world's most valuable ruby, emerald, pearl, diamond, gem, or accumulated riches. So I guess now that puts King Solomon in second place to me. <laughs> <laughs> And if Neil Armstrong ever met me, he'd be envious. Because how could one even compare landing on the moon to the greatest gift of having you, Shalana Rochester, as my bride? <laughs> Therefore, with you as my precious and a rare gift, what am I to do? I will lead you, protect you, uplift you, encourage you, serve you, and love you the same way our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ continues to do for us. Today, I become you and you become me, which all the more makes me understand that the things I do or say to you at a bare minimum should only reflect the good things I expect for myself. I know that I won't have this perfect, and it will take tons and tons of practice. <laughs> but you're more than worth every ounce of effort. This is only the beginning of our journey. And no matter the peaks and valleys, with our daily dependence on God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I will lead you through all of them. The Bible says again, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. You know, when he, when he brought Shalana home, and he introduced her to us, so I was like, what a beauty. And I must say, Shalana, you know I love you. 
you know when i saw shalana for the first time i saw her smile and i not see when i told them i like this girl you know i like her you know and today you are here you are steven's wife we welcome you into our family but well, you know you're welcome long time right about Shalana is that she found a way to excel sorry, both academically and socially and her excellence continued into adulthood. Our girl graduated with honors, has a master's degree, was picked up by a prestigious psychology firm and of course her most recent brilliant step, she chose to marry Stephen. <laughs> Throughout most of Shalana's life, she referred to herself as a princess. It was so serious that when our first niece, Zara, was born, she had her calling her Auntie Princess. <laughs> Zara, you remember that deal? <laughs> All right. But over the past few years, we realized we haven't heard much about this princess reference, right? However, it's quite evident today. <laughs> and it makes it, and it makes it even more surreal that she's found her true prince in Stephen. Mm -hmm. Joyful, friendly, committed, spiritually grounded friend could not have found a better life partner than Shalana. It's what you call a perfect match. To the lovely couple, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and he will direct your path. Be each other's best friend, continue to laugh together, and you will make wonderful memories. And to my beautiful and loving wife, Mrs. Shalana Brown, I want to say a special thank God for you. There's nothing more at this point in time that is more satisfying than having the privilege of calling you my wife. I love you, you're one in a trillion, and I really mean that. There's nobody in this world like you, and never on the face of this earth will there be anyone like you. <laughs>